Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to build a quick search concept for one concept, and I'm going to use the example pressure injury. So, this is how I build my searches quickly and effectively. Maybe you do something similar, maybe you do something different, but I'm inviting you to build a search concept with me. I'm going to start by going over to PubMed. I'm going to go over to the Mesh database. If you noticed, I already had a Word document open. That's very important. We're going to look for pressure injury. And the medical subject heading for pressure injury is pressure ulcer. Introduced in 2006 with literature going back to 1963 based on how it was indexed previously. There are entry terms which are synonyms. There are many synonyms for this. And it's the narrowest term on this branch. First, I need the subject heading. And I add to search builder. And then I copy that, and I'll paste it here. The next thing I do is grab the entry terms. So I'll grab those. I'll come back over here, paste them, and I say paste with no formatting. And the next thing I do is format these a little bit so I can look at them, and it makes more sense to me. First, I'm going to do A to Z sorting, A to Z, lowercase. Just makes mm, it easier on my eyes. And then we'll replace these four spaces at the beginning of each line with nothing. And then we'll get a nice list. So that's that. But wait, we're not done yet. I want to go over to Embase, since I have access to it, and see if Embase will introduce some additional terminology. So I'll go back to the internet. We'll go over to Embase. Mtree is their equivalent of med medical subject headings, except, of course, completely different. We'll go to Mtree. And we'll look for pressure ulcer. If you have nurses, you probably have a lot of searches about pressure injury, pressure ulcer. They call it decubitus. Let's look at that one. There are two terms below this on the tree, so or on the branch. So we'll need to make sure we include phrases that capture these. Pressure ulcer should be no problem, but we'll need to add pressure necrosis. And then over here, on the right are synonyms, and all I need to do is copy them. I can always check out the definition, make sure I understand what it is that I'm looking at, but I'll just copy the synonyms. They're copied in a format that's readable by Embase, so I'm going to paste them here and undo this formatting. Replace, and instead of quote or quote, I just want hard returns, which is caret p and I have to take out some extra quotes here. Before I forget, let's add pressure necrosis and pressure necroses. All right. Again, I'm just going to highlight the whole list. I can alphabetize it again. Probably should have waited. Here we are. OK. I'm going to take out any duplicates. Make sure everything's represented here. If we have the cubital, we don't need that. Uh, we have the cubitus, so we don't need that. We don't need these. We do need decubus. We'll leave that in there. Pressure injury, I don't see a plural. Let's add a plural. Pressure source duplicated. Ulcer, ulcer. I'm going to take out the inversely indexed one or the reverse indexed ones. Um, sometimes they get results, but most of the time they just make a mess. Take that out, and we'll take out ulcus decubitus. All right, so there's our search list of terms. Now let's turn it into a beautiful search. I'm going to highlight it all, except for the mesh term. And if you were building for more than one database, if you were building for Embase at the same time, maybe you want to have a second document going or a, a second piece of your search going below. All right, I'm going to go to replace, and I'm going to replace all the hard returns with quote, square bracket TW, or quote. You can use TW, you can use TIAB. You have to clean up the ends a little bit, and we're going to pair it up with our medical subject heading. And there's a beautiful search ready to run. So if I go over here, if I copy it and Go over to PubMed again. Let's just open another window. We'll say PubMed and paste it. 
We get 23,166 results. Didn't find a cubus, decubus. So that's okay. Just didn't show up in the search results. And if we look, we'll see that I'm getting exactly what I expected to get. I'm signed in. I have my highlighting turned on. So that's building a quick search with me or a search concept with me in PubMed. And if you're doing something like this, then good luck. Practice makes progress. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.